Okay, in this video I'm going to tell you the differences between a regular 850 turbo or an 850 and an 850R. The 850R or T5R are the limited edition uh, sports model of the 850s. First way you could tell that there's an 850, if you look at the VIN, the uh, first couple of numbers after the LW is 58. 58 indicates that it's the R limited edition sports sedan or wagon. You'll also see that VIN 58 there and right there is the 58. When you come under the hood there's another VIN there as you can see it's got 58 there and there's a couple other places in the car that shows you the VIN it's 58. In 1995 these cars came in three colors the yellow sedan and yellow wagon, the green sedan and the green wagon, the black sedan and the black wagon. All of the R's came with that lower uh, lip front bumper as pictured here and the wagons came with the rear wing that this car is missing but the red one photoed had. Now the US market was supposed to get 918 Volvo 850 T5Rs in the 1995 year. They were supposed to get, I think, 250 of these black wagons, 35 of the yellow wagons, about 150 of the yellow sedans, and the balance was supposed to be the black sedans. Now, they did let, I think, 10 people import the green wagons. So the green wagons is actually the rarest of the 95 T5Rs, and they did not let anybody import any of the green sedans. Now, this was Volvo's introduction to the sports car market. So, when this 850 wagon entered the scene, it was the fastest wagon ever produced and sold in the U.S. as a stock uh, sports car. Now, in 96 and 97, the U.S. market got 2,000 of the 850s. I have no idea how the color breaks down or how the sedan versus wagons break down. But I do know that Volvo shipped as many wagons to the U.S. in 96 and 97 as they did sedans. Now, in 96, they discontinued the yellow and still did not ship the green in the U.S., but in the U.S. market, they just made it the R, not the T5R, and the R had the rear wing as photoed here, and these volant wheels still had the front lip, as you can see here, but the cars came in white, red, and black. So, in 96 and 97, we had three colors and two color interior. One of the colors is like a tan color interior. The other color is like the black color interior. I think the uh, black cars and the white cars came with the uh, black or charcoal interior while the red cars uh, had an option, I believe. Now over here on the passenger side, is the ECU box. When you open up the ECU box, you'll see the ECU for the motor, and it'll have uh, special numbers on that to indicate that it is the one that's chipped for the extra horsepower under the first 30 seconds of boost. If you go watt, which is wide open throttle, the first 30 seconds, this car will produce 240, 245 horsepower versus the regular 222 horsepower. Now the main difference is in the performance that the uh, car performs a little faster is the ECU. It's got 7.2 on the ECU and back there in the serial number it has 628 and I'm pretty sure that's on the 96 and the 97s as well. Here's the ECU out of a 94T5 and it's a 8.2. So, it's a little bit of difference between the ECUs, and it doesn't have the Bosch label back there, 
but it does have this Bosch information on the side here. This is out of a 94. Another inv indication is that it is turbo, and if you look at the turbo, it's a G15, even though all of the T5s have the G15. The next thing is the wheels. The wheels on the R's, uh, 96 and 97 models, came with these. These are called Volans, and the 95 model came with the tires and wheels that I have. And those wheels there are the Titans. They look like the pegs that they sell around a lot. But those are actually Volvo Titan wheels. These wheels are 17 inch and they're supposed to have 205, 45, 17 tires on them. Most people ride 215, 45, 17 tires on them. Now one thing you can't see by looking at them is they have a tighter suspension, which I think is... Uh, tighter shocks and they have a thicker sway bar and probably stiffer springs when you couple that with the low profile tires a lot of people consider them to have a harsh ride now when compared with other sports cars I don't consider the ride harsh but since it's a large family uh, sedan or station wagon a lot of people do and these are the seats on the 95 model it has leather in the middle and suede on the outside. Now the armrest is also the fake suede and then the headrest is leather. So this is how the seats look on the 95 models. The back seat is similar on the 95 models. Now the one of the special features in the back seat is it has a child seat. On some of the other turbos have it as well but the 850Rs came with the uh, child seat, child booster seat in the middle, in the back. The seats have a suede interior lining on the inside and leather on the outside. These seats were actually taken out of a 98 V70R, but the 850R seats are pretty similar for the 96 and 97 model. These cars have a different steering wheel uh, cover on them down here on the 96 and 97 model. Another thing that's different on the R is the door insert cards. The insert card on the 95s are all suede and on the 96 and 97 they have a, a, a leather strip and then the rest of them are suede. So they have different insert cards in the door. The back of the T5R sedans in 95 was tagged like this while the back of the wagons was tagged like this. Notice it has that racing emblem there, uh, little checkered flag thing there. And all of the 95s had that. Now the 96 R's have the R on the back instead of the T5 R symbol like the 95 has, plus the 96 sedans has this style wing on the back instead of your low profile wing. Last but not least is the legendary R owner's manual packet. I've actually never seen one, but they're suede with a leather stripe on them and they have the yellow stitching on them and it says Volvo T5R on it. And when you open it up, you have all of your owner's manual stuff inside of it like that so if you have any questions go ahead and post them if you feel that this information was beneficial please like it and share it with your social media friends you can also subscribe to my channel so that you can get notification of future videos that i post visit my channel i have all types of do-it-yourself videos there you can leave questions here and I'll try to respond to them as quick as possible. You can also visit my website at robertspinner.com. Thanks again for watching.